Hey everybody! Welcome back to Uncle Blargo Plays Spelunky Daily Challenge. It is the 6th of December of 2019. Let's see if we can get a good one today. I went to the grocery shop and I wanted to buy some deli meats and cheeses. Your specialty product that perhaps is a lower quality version is available in the shelves. You want to go to the deli, you get the, the actual real stuff cut in front of you. It is just a different experience. I get in line. There's a man in front of me, he is in front of me, and he's ordering things that are very similar to the things that I plan to, to order. Your, your thinly sliced ham slices, your Munster, your provolone, is it pronounced Munster or Munster? Your Munster cheese, your provolone, your sharp cheddar, things of the sort. And he gets his packages, he thinks, thank you very much, sir, it was a, it was a man with a beard and a net over his beard. It always makes me feel slightly uncomfortable, don't really know why. He gets his stuff and he turns around with his little plastic bag. He leans against the counter and he starts unpacking each and every one of his packages. And he puts in his one slice of each in his mouth. One by one, he takes that slice, slice of ham, just crams it in his mouth and he goes like this, he goes like this. It was a, this was the actual sound and gesture him out. You can visualize this right now, can you? And he does that for the ham. And he nods in approval. He takes a slice of cheddar cheese. And he nods in approval. And he goes on with all the products that he purchased. Apparently satisfied, he simply walks off. And this bothers me. He's bothered me for at least two reasons, perhaps even more. <coughs> Sorry about that. This bothered me for, for a variety of reasons. One, what would he have done if he wasn't satisfied? Would he have turned around and said, excuse me, this is not up to my standards? Uh, everybody would have felt extremely violent as a result. I'm, I, I mean violent in the, in the uncomfortable sense. Number two, it's like, bro, you're eating at the grocery store. And I realized that we are surrounded by food. It's a, it's a little a bit of a, of a weird juxtaposition there. I realized this, how we are surrounded by food, but isn't it bad form to eat at the grocery store? I just don't approve of it. And three, you didn't pay for that yet. How can you eat for something? You haven't paid for that yet. I just, I, I, it just ruined my whole day. I've been thinking about it the entirety of the day. And it has been bothering me all along. So I figured I would unload it on you. And maybe you can help me deal with it. Anyway, here are we are. The Daily Challenge of Spelunky. After this amazing little bit that I have played for you. Let's uh, shed our Eggman persona. And just come back to the good old Uncle Blargo. Dick jokes. And inappropriate content. No more family friendly nonsense over here. We have a... A madman who deserves death, but what kind of death shall we rain upon his per person? I guess we're going to do that and just wait and maybe get killed. Should we maybe uh, shoot him from here? This should work, right? Because we just opened a little uh, passageway. These bullets should have... No, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I thought I was shooting way, uh, way into his shop. All the time I was just shooting the wall like a moron. I don't know if I am okay with these items. I'm not really happy with the pictures, man. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed that. I've been, been, watching, been watching a lot of Northern Lion while I do my stuff in the on the PC. It's very ha handy to have him in the background there while I try to climb my way out of this Factoria hole. Or while I do some art of several descriptions. Please explode, thank you. Perfectly timed. What a, what a freaking uh, spelunky madman that I am. Uh, there's still music going on though. Wow. Oh, of course. We have yet to discover this comeback at the bottom. Which is weird, this, we are surrounded by s spikes somehow. Of course, that, that <laughs> answers that question right there. He's just trapped forever in a loop specifically designed. A hundred percent designed, that loop. 
to uh, become active once I walk past it. Like, he will be trapped there forever until we walk into it, and then Mr. Shopkeeper will see it fit to find a way out of his hole and be a major pain in the back. Okay, uh, all the words that I was saying were total bullshit, and we have actually been freed of the curse of the shopkeeper. Oh yeah, give me that sweet, sweet stuff. Fell into a factorio-shaped hole. It's true. It's ha been happening. Posted a little bit of a picture of what I've been doing in the community uh, section, which is still we weirds me out. It's like, how do you do? You get a notification out of that? I don't even know how it works. It's like people seem to respond to it. It's like maybe 10% of the people will that will click on my spelunky videos will actually respond to the community stuff. So I think it's just the people that get a notification. Uh, otherwise, you just don't get told that I posted something in the community tab. I don't need. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, things. The people that I'm subscribed to that post stuff in there, it just shows in this little tiny window. Um, in between recommendations of, uh, of videos, so it's not like it's terribly visible. Then again, uh, I wouldn't assign it a super high priority. But if you want to see the community posts that I sometimes put in there, that are not all that many. I've been, uh, been, I've been getting a little bit more wild and fresh with those lately, but still, I don't really do much of those. Maybe I'll, I'll give you once a week or something like that. So if you want to check those out, I guess hit that bell for notifications. I do say things now and then, such as Factorio is a horrible addiction that I cannot recover from. Yesterday, I was like, what the hell is up with these videos telling me about it? In 2011, this uh, video game was amazing. It's like, I don't give a crap about it. Why are you telling me about Mass Effect Andromeda again? Why are you telling me about Tyson Numerera? Like, I already know everything about these games. Why are you dredging up these, these topics? Uh, what is going on? I don't give a damn. Turns out, 2020 is coming up in 20 days. And that marks the end of the decade, so people are doing the whole retrospective stuff. It only dawned on me. <laughs> it only dawned on me. That's a thing that's going to happen very, very soon. This is perhaps counter... counter... Uh, recommended by your doctor. I will definitely not go for this type of approach to get rid of this crazy person. Well, we appear to be slightly stuck. Yeah, I, that would have been a, a good opportunity to murder him. Oh, wow, he was ready. He was ready. Now he can't shock a jump. What's the worst that can happen if I stand here? Please, jump higher. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for following the instructions, you stupid piece of garbage. I appreciate you making my life a little bit easier. Oh, yeah. Getting some murdering done. Easing back into the daily challenge of Spelunky. That's something. I, I, I do plan to do uh, some speed runs. I just wanted to kill that, that spider, okay? Just don't judge me. I went down on my way. Got almost a minute to get rid of the other weirdo. Whoa, he is ready to reach into my bum and prolapse the shit out of my rectum in the most literal way possible. 30 seconds. Just wanna get rid of this idiot. Please, please, I beg you. 20 seconds, gotta have to climb back up. It's unfortunate. Still though, he's not in a very uh, challenging spot. We should be able to get back to him. No problem, for the time being. Get these ghosted. I don't know really uh, what my objective is other than just going through the daily challenge, talking to you about my nonsense, slipping to all kinds of dumbass topics that I shouldn't even be talking about. Just now posted a little PSA about Spelunky 2 being delayed because there was a whole bunch of comments now and then saying, hey, what, what's going on? I thought they was being released this year. What is going on? So I figured uh, while obviously I am not a huge outlet, I am perhaps some people's exclusive Splunky outlet. 
So it fell upon my shoulders. It was the responsibility was mine to notify these poor souls that in fact Spelunky 2 was pushed back. Where is this man? I'm so confused. I don't trust you. Oh, you scum! Wow! Oh, we have murdered one of them. But the other one. The other one who was the most disgusting zoophile ever to grace or to curse the sur surface of the earth. Nice. Nice. Ever to curse the surface of the earth. We should get a Kapala here. Let me just casually transport these corpses. I'm a little salty about these three gems there that I still require a whole bunch of explosives to get there. Death upon disgusting scorpion. Get over there. One more corpse will do it. Hate it, man. When you have everything ready, you're just missing one corpse in the equation. So many, so many rituals to Shaglaroth have been ruined because I miscounted my corpses. Damn it. Will not let that happen again. In Spelunky. Let me get that scumbag at the top. Oh, yeah. Back on Northern Lion. Been uh, watching his stuff with Dan Giesling, his uh, police stories. That's some primo, primo. YouTube content, man. If you enjoy watching people play video games, Dan Giesling, Norn Lion, police stories, freaking hilarious shit. <laughs> oh, you, you, I hope you, that you appreciate this, Norn Lion, this amazing plug. At least 10 more views on your content. Please send my check to eipbarrabusano at gmail.com. I expect at least 100 bucks for the amazing CPM I have provided you. You can also paint corpses, I'm okay with that. Like I've uh, just noted, I'm sometimes pretty short. So I appreciate it. I was going to pick up the idol and then I realized, but Kali though. And I already have a Kapala. Still, she is my mistress. She is my savior. I give my life unto her bosom. I will not defy her presence. I do not want to fall victim to her withering stare. What are we going to put up on there? The withering stare sometimes that's an idiom that says, oh, it's a it's a mean look that a girl might give you. No. Callie's withering stare is literal. It will make everything from your sculpt to your scrotum wither and fall off. And then obviously you die. I'm pretty sure that you can't survive very long. Without a scalp? You probably can survive, just just in a permanent state of discomfort, I guess. Food for thought. Um, eight bombs, you say. Just throw a rope up here. And put a bomb there, for some reason. There's two gems, I must get them, okay? And also, the ticket trap was making me feel very, very uncomfortable. Uh, here's the maniac over there. And there's another maniac over there. I have received a blue frog onto my head. Can't say I appreciate it, but you know, you roll with the punches in this game. Sometimes blue frogs jump into your head and try to lick your forehead. Ah, ah, ah. Just be murdered. I definitely want all those bombs. Absolutely. I think the best way to go about it might be to just bomb him from the bottom here. And, this, and then just let him do as he will. Shouldn't come this way, right? Should be perfectly safe. Perfectly safe. All I want is those explosives. And he's gone. Is he, is he really gone? My doubts. I press X to doubt. I don't think. This madman is actually... Out of my purview here. I did not mean to throw my torch so damn violently. Alright, I think this is a, is a good tunnel of violence. Fantastic stuff. Very happy. 
about those scumbags receiving the ultimate punishment for their insolence. The ghost comes, as he often does, to spray her jizz all over. Lady Ghost can have jizz, you bigot. She doesn't like to talk about her transition, so we're going to respect her uh, wishes. It's not a full-on transition, she still has jizz to spread about. You do you, Miss Ghost. You do you. We can't be uh, judging people for their. We can't be judging women for their male genitals. Okay, that's just not. It's just rude. It's rude. Accept this lady's cock and move on with your life. What does it matter to you? Oops. Sorry, Madeline. But uh, you needed to be punished for all the bigotry that you are tolerating. You have me standing here spewing this utter nonsense. And you just tolerate it? You just run around flailing your arms? No, you should be writing really angry posts on Twitter. That's what you do. That's the proper treatment for bigotry. Take to Twitter and say, mm, delete this right now. And get real, real mad. Changing the world one post at a time? That's you, sweetheart. That's you. Anyway, I think we're done here. We ghosted those gems. I mean, there are some more to be ghosted, but do we truly want to risk our anus for the terrible? Oh boy, this is perhaps less than well, less than properly thought out. Let's not do this, okay? Let's not do this. I see myself dying horrendously. I was just going into a place that I have not seen before. Without even the torch. WTF is wrong with you, you dumbass boomer. Being 35 years old. That meme is uh, far more appropriate than you would think. Technically, I'm somewhere between millennial and Gen Xer. Like, I'm right there on the division. Certainly do not share. Uh, most of millennial sensitivity, so I guess I could identify myself as Gen Xer, but no, absolutely not. I am hip, I am with it. I am with all of you Zoomers scrolling down, seeing those memes of me IRL and laughing alongside you, fellow kids. I guess I could leave, but then. The fun of exploring that little corner, now I'm fixated, I need to explore that little corner that I was going into I was going Star Trek Into Darkness over there and I need, I need to finish up that mission I can't just leave it Okay, we're going to put this ghost all the way at this corner a whole bunch of stuff up there INCLUDING two emeralds Nah, I'm done with that nonsense I do need to find out though Like, I put far too much effort into finding out what's in this corner over here. Turns out, maybe a little bit of money. Hooray. There's Ghost Lady. Alright, give me that shotgun. We depart. We depart with a content heart and a kiss from Madeline. Very happy. Of course, the name Madeline in my mind right now as I continue working my way with Celeste. Back when it was released, I was like, yeah, I will totally get into this game. But I just didn't. In the sense of, I just didn't try it. But I knew, in my heart, that it would be a fun time. Whenever I actually did try it. So now that it's actually happening, check it out. There's a series going on. I think it's on episode 3, it will be 4 very, very soon. It is a really fun time. Oh, this black market is very, very... Oh, there it is. No, it's not. This looks a lot, but it's just its just a vine. It's just a vine. And you got... Watched in six seconds. You expelled a hearty chuckle. And then you completely forgot about it. Hello. Hello, my good sir. What? <laughs> These shotgun pellets. Very happy to get this man murdered. 
I was about to say tossed into the lake. Instead of him uh, being a pain in my asshole. To get to old Bitey. Okay, this this has to be properly timed, right? I'm too great. I'm just too great at this game. Amazing. Alright, we got that done. We of course have to leave for the black market. But we have done this. Now we must. On another Kaliata. We absolutely must get to Old Bitey. There's no way <coughs> I'm not getting to Old Bitey. Oh boy, it's right here. Woohoo! Okay, so let's start uh, shooting from the other side altogether. We even have the nice little uh, position here. Pretty damn annoying. But we'll get it done. Don't worry about it. Old Bitey has a thing where uh, he knows exactly where you're at from anywhere in the pond. I'm not terribly concerned about all the piranhas since we have a bit fat chunk of health to fall back on. Pretty damn annoying though. Oh, uh, maybe I should be a little concerned about the piranhas. <laughs> Man, they are so easy, especially with a shotgun in my hands. It's so easy to get damaged forever. The shotgun makes it really hard, to, like the, the hitbox of those pellets. Okay, this is rope. <laughs> this is getting silly. Of course, now this ghost makes my life slightly more difficult, but not going to be that much of a big deal. Love to destroy each and every one of these disgusting fishes. And there's old Bitey. There's old Bitey. Being old Bitey like. He gonna get wrecked. Honestly, it feels like I should be going down there with just a whip. Please, please. I'm destroying the freaking piranhas before. Please let go. Please let go. Thank you. Ah, yep. Okay, ah, this is, has to end. This has to end. Suffering way too much damage here. I was happy with my cushion. Oh, yeah, this is shoot, 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 shoot. I was happy with my health cushion. Not working out, and I will die if I get touched by this giant super monstrosity, so let's take it easy. Take it easy. Maybe there's some monkeys I can suckle all the life out of. Contract the most virulent case of AIDS ever conceived. Please let me out. <laughs> uh, is there any gems out here anyway? Well, well, we are traversing this area. Doesn't look like it. There's two emeralds down there. Technically, it's something I should be pursuing, but whatever, bruh. Whatever. I mean, it's a pretty good seed if it has an old body on all these, uh, all these vaults to be ghosted. But still, the old body should be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's go to the other side. Problem is, the ghost is right above me, I think. Oh my goodness, that piranha is like the worst. Let's get out this way. There's old buddy. I don't want to spend the bombs to destroy it. That piranha on the other side might get a bomb. That's how salty I am right now. Of that tooth-filled monstrosity. Alright, what we're going to do... Get this ghost to the corner. And we'll go all the way to the bottom. Go over to the other side. And check out this area over here. Shoot at old Bitey, who already smells me. It's over. Man, it's full of piranhas still. What? What was that? <laughs> Sometimes shooting piranhas, it ain't like shooting a fish in a barrel, let's say. It's more like trying to hit with a stick a salmon in the river. All right. A very Alaskan pastime, I'll admit. I don't think it's very relatable. The salmon sticking of August. That always happens. I always sign up early for salmon sticking. It's a, it's a great time. Highly recommend it. That's not something I wanted, but it's okay. What a pauper old body. He, the paucity inside of his anus is palpable. Absolutely disgusting. Also, the 
Oh, there is the idol. I was like, what's going on? Wasn't there an idol in this level? Wasn't there an idol in the previous level that I completely neglected? What a freaking piece of garbage that I am. I deserve nothing but death now because I bypassed the idol in the previous level. I'm really sure I did. It was at the top, the top uh, right corner. Anyway, the vault needs to be ghosted. I don't know if it has been ghosted. It's kind of a challenging spot. Uh, can we get there from here? No, not really. I mean, we can yeah, definitely bomb our way there because there's the few gems and it will make the vault ghosting that much easier. Okay, it should be easy enough. To get it down from the top. But anytime that old body shows up, you're gonna have a much longer time to get things done. Ooh. Ooh. Is this gonna work though? Alright, I'll just another freaking bomb. Get into the Cali Altar area. Oh, yeah, that'll work. I don't think it had been ghosted. You know what? We might nah. Without a damsel, we can't really get invigoration in this one yet. Ah, oh, but yeah, there we go. All that stuff, I don't know why I whipped that guy, other than it makes me feel good to molest corpses. All the way to back to the top. We do need to get this stuff. And that emerald is gettable. It is gettable. Uh, my patient has run out, though. I ain't got no more patience. I'm a struggling doctor. So let's get out of here. This wholesale stolen from For Ford Minor. Credit where credit is due. I'm not one of those people. I'm not an Amy Schumer. I'm not a Lily Singh. I don't steal jokes. Lily Singh, one of those? I forget. Yeah, we did go through the black market. For a moment of panic there. My brain seized. And he was like, You left the black market and just no. But I didn't. That's all good. Bomb in a present box. Mr. Shopkeeper, you're a terrible annoyance. Now we're going to expedite your departure from this world. There's a beautifully directed bullet. I'm going to take advantage of. Oh yeah, I get super wrecked! What? Mm, spooky! <laughs> Oh, did a shotgun kill me? Oh, was it hubris? Mm, I was so confident that oh, that barrage of bullets. 2.5, well done, extemilia. What a guy. What a guy. 2.5 million. That, that does not sound like a dupe type of guy. He actually just uh, did everything, quote, legit. Seems to be that kind of store. Score well, that was awful and humiliating and conveniently 30 minutes long. So <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one in which maybe, maybe I will not be horrendously humiliated.